Come on then, off we trot, off to Rattay. Gonna give them that document. No, that's the report that comes to destruction. Give Ulrich's documents to Tobias Fearfall. We'll do that, we'll hand those in first. Captain Bernard, and what is he's probably in bed? Welcome, Henry. Welcome, sir. You think he's in bed, or do you think he's wandering about? For some reason, the game, the game, like loads after you wash yourself. Yeah, it looks like he's in God bed. Let's go and wake him up with the good news. We've destroyed the bandit. Hey, Henry, come to see us. Unless he's upstairs again. God be with you, Henry. Can I get past? What? How are you, Henry? I'd be even better if I could find out where this guy is. Bloody hell, where's Bernard? Oh, he might be. Oh, he's behind there, man. Greetings. I've taken care of the camp. Where's the proof? Here proof it is. Is in the pudding. Good work. It looks like your work is done here at Ratai. I haven't heard of any other camps, so we may finally have some peace and calm. Oh. Good work. Thank you, Captain. Nice. I have no fear of idleness. I've sent word to Captain Robard. They're expecting you at Talmberg. Cuman hordes rampaging through their woods. Very well, Captain. I'll set off immediately. Glad to hear it. Huh. So, I thought these were infinite re reoccurring quests, but it seems that they're not. So, Robard's got... I have some, uh, trophies. Let's see. Good. How are you, Henry? Good. That's how to treat the bastards. champion so you can finish these up they're not reoccurring it's a shame that because i would i would think it would be nice to have like reoccurring quests so you can never get like bored of finding bandits but alas it's good to have closure though as well knowing that we're, we're doing good in the region i don't need this torch anymore i do need a horse Go and hand this in. And find out more about it. Go on, get off the stairs, it's one save you, Henry. One person per stair. Hmm. Unless the person's in there and I have to wait a little bit longer. I'll try upstairs. Oh, doesn't that look amazing? Okay, Henry. 
Hello? Yeah. Boss. Alright, I was about to lockpick that chest before you came in here. Do you mind leaving, please? Oh, this is... This guy loves me. This is where all the noblemen eat their dinner. Oh, fuck it, Sir Radzig! Bloody hell! I'll not rob... I'll not rob Radzig, he's a good lad. We'll just need to wait till... Till this guy wakes up. You, Another question. Is this our bedroom? Because I'm sure we, we spawned here after one of the missions. I think it is our bedroom. What time is it now? Um, 7 o'clock. I'll tell you what. I'll wait. I'll sleep for possibly 2 hours. And at least I'll put a save game here. Outside the, the bedroom. Oh, two hours. And he'll definitely be up after eight o'clock. If this saves, we know this is also our bed. It is. So we've got our own little place in here. Nice. Now has he woke up yet? Still saying he's in there. With you, Henry. Well Radzig's been in there. Hmm. Look, sir, Rad, mate. Jesus, look where you're going. I'm stuck on these bloody stairs. Tobias Fairfall? Where's this bell end? He's definitely below us. Wait an hour. Ten o'clock. Fear for you, plum. Wake up. Got urgent business to attend to. He's still downstairs. Is he ill or something? Has he got... How are you, Henry? He's not moving. Radzig, go in that room for us and open it up. Open that room for us. What? what? See? Look, that door was permanently locked. I wouldn't have gotten in there if it wasn't for Radzig. Welcome, Henry. You, you better. What are you hiding behind the locked door for? I know you're busy, but I'm more important. Lock pick easy. I'll be having your chest. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Master Feyfar, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit coin. Did you really? Do tell. Close to Rovner, I came across a wagon that was transporting the false coins. Unfortunately, I came too late. The carter and his men were dead. Damn and blast. Do you know who did it? Yes. A certain knight turned up there. Turned out he was also after the forgers. Well, that is indeed unexpected. Tell me, what did he say? Said he was Bond. James Bond. His name is Ulrich. He looked like a knight, but he refused to show his master's colours. Ulrich, you say? Hmm. Could be anyone. Can you describe him? An older man with a moustache. But for all his grey hairs, he seemed pretty tough to me. Hmm. Doesn't match anyone I've heard of. But then we don't even know if Ulrich is his real name. I asked him who his liege was, but he refused to tell me. 
we live in such strange times. In days past, knights would vie with each other to see who could extol their liege's name the loudest. And today, they take assumed names, hide their emblems and sneak around the land like thieves. I got the impression he was hiding his identity because his masters are odds with Sir Radzik. That may well be. As a staunch supporter of the king, Sir Radzik has many enemies. He told me that the fake money was being taken to Passau in exchange for gold coins. Then that real money was being brought back to the Bohemian lands. That would explain why those fakes bear the Passau countermark. His master is allied with the Passau alderman, and they told him to sort it all out. I wonder who could be behind it all. He gave me these documents to show you. He seemed to think they prove he was telling the truth. They're the records of the interrogations in Passau, and some other things he said you'd understand better than him. Hmm. Let me see. We, the aldermen of the city of Passau, mm -hmm. interrogation held this day, mm -hmm. put to pain by the Questa. Mm -hmm. The place of origin is a monastery in the land of Bohemia. Hmm. Mm. It certainly confirms my suspicion that something is going on in Sasso. Coin assay report. Copper core coated with amalgam. Ah, well, this is interesting. Here's an outlying description of how the forgeries are made. I'll have to study it more closely. We command Herr Ulrich mm -hmm. to investigate and let no man stand in his way. This looks like the original safe conduct. It has the seal of the Passau alderman. But they certainly didn't pen this. How do you know? I recognise the hand. It's the Clement of Kaplitz, the high scribe of the Rosenbergs. Ah, okay. So it seems like he's legit. The Rosenbergs? Who's that? A rich and powerful family in South Bohemia. Burgrave Henry III is a great rival of our King Wenceslas. So what does all this mean? Well, it certainly explains why your knight is so mysterious. Anyway, we should be careful. And we shall begin our investigation. The documents show they use silver amalgam for coating copper fakes. That's a lead we can follow. Amal what? A silver amalgam. It's produced from quicksilver and silver. Well, that doesn't sound like something just anyone can get hold of. Hmm. You're quite right. You will go to Sasso at once. Look around the forges in the city. Someone must be working copper for them. I, meanwhile, will take counsel with Sir Radzik and then follow after you. Where shall we meet? At the inn on Sasso Market Square. Good, but that's where hey. we're meeting the guy. Hey, what? I'm I'm stuck in a hey. in a sandwich. Now can I get out here? I can. So it's off to Sasau. This I didn't think Radzik Radzik knows what he's doing with his life. Well, we'll let him. We'll let him be. Well, you know what it is? I'll speak to him. Because he might be interested in know what I found. I'm not stuck on the bloody stairs, that is. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Mysterious knight. May I be of service, my lord? Yes, Henry. Chief Engineer Faefer has been asking for someone reliable to assist him. The Chief Engineer? Is it about Scalettes? In a manner of speaking, Master Fafar has, well, hmm. evil forebodings. I think he may want to send you to the Scarlet's mines. Can they really be restored? Everything can be rebuilt with enough will and resources. Well, everything except the man. You'll get the details from Chief Engineer Fafar. For the time being, consider yourself his handyman. Certainly. Where do I find him? Is he here in the castle? Where? Now that's a good question. He went to Sasau to deal with something there, most likely at the inn. Well, thank you. I'll go and see him straight away. Good luck, huh. Hal. He's actually, he's calling us Hal. Nicknames. We've got nicknames now, me and him are bros. I've just spoke to him. He's not even here. He's not even in Sasau. He's still there. What about the mines? The mines. Greetings. Master Fafar, Sir Radzik sent me to you. Did he? God save you, Henry. He must think highly of you. I do the best I can. That's good, because this is damned important. Silver is our most valuable asset. How can I help with these um, <laughs> evil forebodings of yours? Hmm. Sir Radzik may make light of it, but a large quantity of silver has been discovered hereabouts. 
and no one is guarding the Scullet's mines, the most likely source. You really think someone could be stealing the silver from the mines? I would have thought that would be quite a job, wouldn't it? It certainly would. Which is why I'd like you to go and check out not only the mine gallery, but also the yard with the smelter and the waterworks. See what kind of state it's all in, and if anything looks suspicious. Oh, this looks interesting. Is that the yard next to the Scallet's mill? That's the one. I don't know what state it's in now. There used to be a stock of charcoal and smelted silver there. A silver store? Could there really be any left? I doubt it. I'd be surprised if it was still standing at all. What about these waterworks? What's there? A stamping mill and washing troughs. They're on the bend in the river below the castle. You can't miss them. There are big tanks and equipment all around. You said mine gallery. Just one. Boy, there's such a maze there that it would take a week to crawl through the place. There's only one gallery I'm interested in, at the foot of the hill by a small fish pond. Why just that one? Because I was expecting to find a seam there. All the indications pointed to it. So if anyone is stealing silver, it'll be right there. Right. Should I be expecting trouble then? Well, I definitely wouldn't treat the job like a visit to church on Sunday. You could find yourself facing that pack of hungry dogs trailing the army. Or a band of brigands. I see. Well, you and Saradza can rely on me. That's all clear. I'll get going. I think we'll do that first before we do the meetup because if it's silver, it could have something to do with this. So if we investigate that first, it could work in our favour. So come on. Oh, I need to go to the tailor, don't I? Wanna go? Well, everyone's quite local here. I wanna sell some stuff to these guys. He only buys swords. <laughs> I'm here to sell. God grant you. Let's talk about the price. Mm. Agree? A nice sum. Good day, Henry. How much did we piss him off? Not much. Hi, we're at the Champion. Right, so off to the armor smith. Which is just in here. I think. How much money have you got? God How save you. Henry? He's got 5k. Oh my god, this guy's rich. I'm rich, bitch. I'm about to be rich. I'm going to sell 5k's worth of goods. They've got blood on them, so they're all right.
2.6k and I want to haggle him for more. Can we do something about... Hmm. Since it's you... That's better. God be with you, Henry. Fine. Bling bling, I'm rich. Vegetables, fruits, and... I need to get the tailor so I can... I can properly... repair that gear. And then we'll move on. Horse? Horse, where are you going? The horse now owns this store. God be with you, Henry. Come here. I don't want to ride into the fair maiden. So where is the tailor? Is it around here? Oh, it is. It's the scissors, isn't it? Ah, it's just right next to us. How are you, Henry? Oh, it's in the back alley. I've remembered. Have him repair me me fashionable black pants. God save Henry. Do me, mate. Do me hard. I hope I can be a I'd like to discuss well we What about this? Well, it'll... I'll go for that. Happy days. Now the thing is, when I when I come to repair those pants, I'll get the padded bonus. I think. Let's check the quests. Quest log. I want to do the King Silver first. Raiders. Oh yeah, we'll not do that yet. Where's that? In Tallenberg. The King Silver. It's some mission. But we'll get it done. Let's go. It'll probably be night time by the time we get there. Nourishment 74. Oh, I need to eat something. Yeah, we're probably going to get there around about, oh, I don't know, five o'clock maybe? Oh, I didn't care about this guy. What's he got? I'll give us a chance to eat some food. What do you need? I have a wonderful offer for you. <laughs> How then? Deal of a lifetime. Right. Shows what it is. As you wish. Who needs a key? I'll take it. Oh, you can't haggle with them. I'll take it anyway. What's it about? An offer you. All right. I... Scallets. I wondered when we'd be coming back here. Because after we got knocked out and saved by Teresa, we never really went back to Scallets. We've, we've rolled past it a couple of times. But now we're actually going to find out what's going on there. See if the silver mines have been raided. Silver mine. The mines of Moria. Attack on the road, baby. Sodomite? Jesus Christ, have mercy on me! I surrender, can't you see?
Nah, sorry, like. No, no, forget it. Now you die. Cover! Execute him. Curva. Silly boy. Yeah, energy drops pretty quickly when you fast travel. <clears throat> I think that does control your stamina. I'm not sure if it also controls your health. I think there could be a big battle here in, in Scarlet's. If the guy expects us to have resistance, then they probably will. Here we go. Rain in the perfect weather. Examine the ore processing yard. We'll go there first. See, I only make I only make five noise now with all this armor on. I'm like a stealth ninja. I'm going in stealthily. I'm gonna get me. I'll not take my sword out yet. I'm just gonna go in carefully and quietly. That looks like the ore processing yard. Whoop whoop. Game saved. Something's going to kick off in it. Can I get in there? Through that tunnel. Storms are brewing. to go around the main entrance. Oh, I love it. I love it when it's daytime and you get uh, thunder and lightning. Hey. Who are you? Oh, we're in battle straight away. Come on then. Will you really? Highly doubt that. There can be only one. We're expecting more resistance in here. Looks like they smashed things up nicely. There he is. There's the guard. We can probably... Oh, look, there's a couple of them. Right, before we go any further, I'm over in combat, I just realised.
Let's take the high road eh? To my oh, he Just dodged it. To vent my rage on someone. Get out. Look at them all. This is going to be amazing. Watch this. Call me the Highlander. Next. Headcracker. Boosh. Death becomes you. Foolish mortals. Oh, hello. <laughs> He's laughing. You can do? <laughs> You're laughing, son. Had enough. No, well, I think you have. Oh, is it like that, is it? Game over, mate. Oh, this guy must be the hardest one. And by hardest, I mean the most foolish. I mean, who watches all your mates get slaughtered and then goes and attacks? Only a fool would do so. Decorated Bavarian Hobart. That could be amazing. I'll take it. Male Chaucer's. Ooh. Normal axe. Don't know if it's worth anything. The duelist. Sixty two and sixty two. It's quite good. Oh, I didn't want to take them. Tight red hose. 220. Bloody hell. The duelist is quite good. It's got more. It's got more stab damage, less slash. Uh, I think I like Herod's sword better.
this takes place of that. 11, 14 and 9. Oh, it's considerably worse than what I've got. I want to actually drop that on one of the bodies. Eight, ten, and seventeen. It's the same as what I've got on. What's my nourishment like? 70. Let's eat some stuff. <coughs> so that's all them destroyed. These are the huts. This isn't surprisingly good condition. Someone has been using this. Well, whoever they are, we know they're certainly not friendly. But where's the next place we're going to? We'll just work my way around the outskirts. Mine. I want to go to the waterworks first. And then we'll go to sea last. So I imagine the mine's going to be where the most enemies are. If that's where the silver is. Yeah. I still need to keep my eyes out because I want to be driving, driving, riding past the mine. And if anyone sees us. Examine the waterworks, and I imagine these waterworks are going to be in good condition, just like the place we've just been. Right, horse, you wait here. I'm going in. So what you're made of. Oh, here we go. I didn't mean to pick the body up, shit. These are just regular crap bandits. Hmm. This doesn't look too bad. I guess those bastards didn't want to get soaked. Oh, they've been holding up in here, have they? Stuck. Ah. 
that a frog making that noise? Level up and lock picking baby. Seems they had a good go at wrecking this, but it's still standing. So they have tried wrecking this. Find out the mine. It's just a ways away. I'll probably just run there, do you think? These are inaccessible buildings. Big B, stay safe, alright? Don't get yourself in any trouble. And if I get in trouble, just fucking kick one of them. Kick this motherfucker out the window. There's the mine just below me. Oh, it's a cutscene. What do you want? What do you think? Just looking around. No, I'll see if Sir Radzig sent me. I'll be honest. And if he attacks us, I'll know the bad. I'm here by order of Sir Radzig and Master Feyfar. And who are you? I. Who am I? I'm keeping guard here so no rogues get in to steal the silver. That's very commendable. I'll take you to Master Feyfar so he can reward you. But I... I can't go anywhere. Who would stand hmm. watch if I left my post? I think you're full of shit. Death. Hey, watch it! This guy's gonna attack us, isn't he? I already know what's going to happen. I'm not scared. I can take them all on. Unless he explodes the mine entrance and then I'm trapped in here forever. I'm watching you, mate. Probably should have used the the scare option, the fight option, because I think that would have been too easy by Macy and Radzig and him going, "Oh well, I'm God in the mine." He's not as he. We are very deep in this mine. No sign of people. You camp.
Oh, I don't think he's alive. Hey! Hey, you there! What have you done? Me? It wasn't me. It must have been one of your lot pushed him down the shaft. If you hadn't come sniffing around, none of this would have happened. What's my being here got to do with it? What the fuck's been going on? Whatever it is, now you've got a murder to answer for. Only if someone finds out. I'm gonna go for that, have some sense everyone. I think uh, my speech craft's gonna be better than these guys. Listen neighbours, don't be stupid. You don't want to add another murder to the count. It could have been an accident. You know that was no accident. Or maybe you came to blows, pushed him down and then we had to stop you. That's ridiculous. If you all clear off out of here, I promise nobody will be asking what happened. Why add to your troubles? Hey! Nice. You're not going to abandon us, are you? Not after all the good times we've had together? Don't you remember how we took care of everyone? Hey! I'll slaughter you. Will you now? Where is he? I got him, I didn't even have, couldn't even see him. Grandad's old sword. Well, he was a fool. Shouldn't have been so foolish, should you? Right, let's get out of here. Yeah, I can't get up there. Can I? Oh, I'm over and come, but that's why I can't jump. I want to get up this way. Because that's where the guy ran off to. Come on, Henry, climb. Climb as if your life depended on it. Go on, get up, get up. Henry's got the parkour skills of a wet dog. Right, we're not going up that way. Come on, let's get out. this way I never I don't think this was here before or maybe it opened up after the cutscene because it didn't let us go up hopefully we'll find some more people up here shit Where am I going? Who's that? You're gonna hey. fight us? What the hell's going on here? Come here, scumbags. Entertainment. 
Fuck me. Dead. The answer to my prayers. Just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. Come on, then, baby. We'll be spilt. Then. <laughs> This guy. Fuck off. Actually damaged us. These fucking miners. Hey, what are you what are used to? Yeah. Tired of life, are you? Oh. I'll press the wrong button. I'm pressing left trigger instead of re left bumper. Fuck this. I went in club, man. This guy's playing us at my own game. Oh, you think you're Highlander, do you? Go on, attack and it's all over, mate. I'll, I'll show you. Get out. Dead end. Oh, it's a cute. It's an underground mine level. Everybody has to have one of these in the game. Come here, you're the one I need to get. I need to get my stamina up first. That guy got away. I don't think there was any way of catching that guy. I'll follow this path for a little bit, just to see if he's stuck on the path. But I think he was meant to get away. It didn't have the option of, of like, grabbing a hold of him or anything. There's the entrance to the mine. Where we started off. Right.
maintenance is going up nice. Right, come on, we're going to go back to Tobias. What we might do is we might stop off in Talenberg first. We'll pick up the quest from the, the bailiff there. And then we'll head back down to, to see what the crack is with this. Energy 73. I might also rest in... Oh, attack on the road. Come on then. Where are you? Are you hiding? You're dead. Kurva! No mercy. Where's he gone? He's He's hiding in the bushes so good. I don't know what's happening here. I've seen to be stuck in a bush. What the hell? I'm stuck in a bush, so I'll have to fast travel. So we still don't we oh, carcass on the road ignore. We still don't really know what was going on with their minds. I couldn't get the information out of the guys. One of them escaped. Hmm. Gotta run away. Fucking Bon Jovi run away, mate. Captain Robard, we'll go and see him. God save Have you noticed my energies went back up to full? Why is that? Energy 66. I might have to have a sleep after I get this quest. Good day, Henry. I'm honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Oh, well, it's reciprocal. I've been sent by Captain Bernard. He says you have Cuma marauders here. Ah, so it was you Bernard was speaking of. Well, the Cumans are marauding, that's for sure. So Givish did declare a decent reward for taking the bastards down. But we've not had cause to pay out to anyone so far. Is that because the locals are too frightened? No, they're more than willing to try. It's just they don't seem to make it back again. But don't let me put you off. We do know of one camp. Along the road to Neuhoff, hidden between the cliffs. I'll pay you your reward if you can bring me proof you've killed the camp leader. They wear Will peculiar do. helmets with a face mask of sorts. Easy to recognize. All right, I'll see to it. I have some trophies. Show me. So many. My lad, <laughs> you're like the smiting right hand of God. <laughs> I'm the angel of death. At least the game saved there. Okay, so I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna rest. I will have a wash. I'm just gonna make it to I can rest in a uh, in Rate. Oh, it's on the way. Eh, fuck it to hell. However, we'll do that. We'll do that. It's on the way down anyway. Come on, big fella. We'll 
attack them at night. They'll not know what hit them. So I do need to cross the river there. And then it's just on the... On the path. Actually, you know what it is? I want to leave it. I want to leave it for now. I just want to get to... Retire. Maybe if we get stopped closer to that point, I'll have a look. But if not, I'm way favour. Let's have a look. Now, where are we? See? We stopped close to it. Nice. I haven't got my sword out good. Please, sir, help me. What's happened to you? I've walked all the way from Cutton, so oh, I. Oh, I need the bandage. Wait. Thank you. Sir. Anytime. Human bandit camp this way. If I follow this road, we should get there pretty easily. Oh, who are you? Friendly? Friendly. This does not look friendly. Or maybe it is, do you think? What's happening here? Yeah? I just got teleported somewhere. Get him, get him, get him, get him. No, Kurva. Off we jab off. Ow. Gone, beast. You're not getting away. You're a human. Get away. You'll not be getting up to help your friends. Oh, the Matrix! Am I in the camp now, do you think? Is this why there's loads of them? Nope. Not a dear son. Slaughtered. There's more of them. Leader. Got him. Captain's helmet. Nice. Yeah, 
had a bloody glaive. I can't send them to the horse because I'm in combat. Aha, who are these? I think these are normal citizens. Wait, I should be able to send them now. Somebody else around here, you know. We are close to the camp. Look, there's more people over there. Get your sword out. Oh, get the sword. I'm aware I've got my torch on, right? He's a human. I can't stealth kill him. Die. That must be it. That must have been the guy. They've got mad loot on them, these guys, like. And this isn't even the camp we needed to be in. Won't let us open the chest. Hmm. I wonder where the guy is. There's someone up there. No, there's not. Right, let's go anyways. We need to get to this camp. It's not far. Right, so again, if we walk diagonally through it, we should find it. I 
wasn't a building, it was a hill. Aha! I don't want to be on the hill, I want to be down on ground level. Some assassinations. Well, it's, the, the morning is just breaking, so I can put away my torch and see what I'm doing. Have I got my sword out still? Yes, good. Shit, he's facing us now. Bullshit. Sweet dreams. <laughs> oh, look. The guy just woke up there. I don't think hey, he knows what happens. Otva, Vidyat. Vatomut, Otni. Gotcha, bitch! Oh, I am the Tenchu Stealth Assassin, like. There's no doubt about it. Look, human leader's mask. Oh, because that's what I've got to get. That's what that's the, the quest thing. Captain's helmet, 970. I'll take that. Yeah, he's got destroyed. That was so perfect.
Right, so I've done that. So what we've got to do now is head on down to... Back to Rattay. Once we get here, we'll pass on the information and then we'll just save it outside of the, outside of his quarters. Oh, attack on the road. Come on then. It certainly won't take long. Any more? My energy is really low, I need to get a good night's sleep. It's going to start dropping below 50% soon. Oh, hello there. Is it, oh, is this the Riddler? It's the Riddler. Come on. This will be the we third riddle. Before, haven't we? Come to think, yeah. yes, we have. So, you know how it goes. That sounds good. Let's lend me your ear. A pilgrim on his journey meets three fates. One is called truth and always speaks the truth. The second is called falsehood and always tells lies. The third is called wisdom and sometimes speaks the truth and sometimes lies. The trouble is that the pilgrim does not know which is which. Therefore, he asks each one a question. He starts with the fate on the left and asks her, which one is standing in the middle? And the fate replies, truth. He asks the middle one, which one are you? And the fate responds, wisdom. He asks the last one, which one is standing in the middle? And the fate replies, falsehood. The question is, which fate is which? First, second, and third. There's a very similar puzzle on, in the movie Labyrinth with the two doors on which one to go down. Oh, this is, this is, this is hard. Right, let's try this again. Can you repeat that? Certainly. A pilgrim on his journey meets three fates. We know that. The trouble is, he starts with the fate on the left. Left. And asks her, which one is standing in the middle? And the fate replies, truth. Truth. He asks the middle one, which one are you? And the fate responds, wisdom. He asks the last one, which one is standing in the middle? And the fate replies, falsehood. The question is, which fate is which? First, second, and third. So, who's standing in the middle? And the one on the left says truth. They ask the one in the middle, which one are you? And it says wisdom. And the one on the right, they ask. Can you repeat that? What does the so one on the right a say again? Pilgrim on his journey meets three fates. The trouble is, he starts with the fate on the left and asks. He asks the last one, which one is standing in the middle? And the fate replies, falsehood. The question is, which fate is which? First, second, and third. So he replies falsehood. Which one's down in the middle? Falsehood. I've got no idea how to actually work this out. I really can't. Well, if, if the first one's telling the truth, that... Which one are you? Hmm, I don't know. I can't actually figure it out. Last time, if I don't get it now. Certainly. A pilgrim on his journey 
meets the trouble is he starts with the fate on the left and asks her which one's standing in the middle which one is standing in the middle and the fate replies truth truth he asks the middle one which one are you and the fate responds wisdom he asks the last one which one is standing in the middle and the fate replies falsehood the question is which fate is which first second and third can you I think, okay i think i want to get it i think i want to get it is right the trouble he starts with the fate on the left and asks her so if this one's telling which the, one the is false. standing in the middle and the fate replies truth so if she's lying he asks the middle one which one are you and the fate responds wisdom he asks That's the last false. one which one is standing in the middle and the fate replies falsehood the question is which fate is which first second and third so truth can't be the first person it can't be Falsehood, wisdom, truth. Falsehood, wisdom, truth. You're wrong. Ah. Oh. The correct answer is wisdom, falsehood, truth. The fate in the middle cannot be true. Well, I know Otherwise, that. Otherwise, she would say so about herself, which would mean the fate on the left would be falsehood, and so also cannot be true. What about truth the last must one? Therefore, be the fate on the right, and taking her at her word, falsehood is in the middle. This leaves only wisdom as the one on the left. Oh, don't you fret. Very few people can... Ah, uh, fuck you. Never mind. I couldn't figure it out. Even when he explained it, they still didn't understand it. Too fucking hard. My little brain cannot fathom the intricacies of his riddles. I can never, ever figure out that. There's too much. It's all about probability and possibility. You'd probably have to sit down on a chart and figure out, like, if that one's lying, then that one and that one, and if that one's lying, it's got a 50% chance of telling the truth, so it could be that, and if truth, I do now. It's too hard. I need sleep. One Groshin. That is up. See, it's locked very hard. There's no way of getting in here unless he lets you in. We'll sleep for an hour, so it's saved, and we'll see if if um, Radzig will let us in. It's ridiculous how that door's locked. If that's another glitch, it's got to be. At least we'll get a save on the go. Come on, Radzig, open this door for us. There he is, look, go on, go on, go in, go in. You're going the wrong way, you're going the wrong way. This way. Hey. Come in here. Radzig, we've got no chance of getting in here anymore. Fuck's sake. Isn't that bullshit? Is that not the most bullshit you've ever seen in your life? Oh, he's coming back. Fella. Oh, uh, we need to glitch through this door because the game's fucked.
Oh, you're going the wrong way. Ew. Doesn't help these stairs don't work. Radzik, the stairs don't work. You need to fix the stairs in your bloody castle. Snake. Snake up them. Go oh, away, can hey. Won't open that door for us, mate. Greetings. Come on, this way. Yeah, this way. Come on. What? What the hell are you doing? I just need him to come in here. That's all I need. And chances are he'll walk through that door and let us in. Radzig. I've got a bloody wench. Wench, I, do I need Radzig. Greetings, go on, Henry. Go on. Go on, go on, go in, go in to see him, go on, no, 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 that way, that way, no, in there, you're in the wrong place, go in that door, that door, this door, this door, this door, this door, this door. no, that way, no, 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 serious? that way, be a bit more, hey, what? <laughs> That's how you do it. You've got to force Radzik to open the door. What business have you? I'm here about the mine. Excellent. So what did you find out? It's been plundered and wrecked, but everything can be fixed. It'll be quite a job, but at least it won't have to be rebuilt from scratch. That's a weight off my mind. And did you see anyone there? Thieves or suspicious types? Yes. Memoy and his gang were stealing silver there. The vermin. I thought as much. Did you bring him here? I tried to, but he was having none of it. He didn't want to burn, so he tried to kill me. Well, I'm glad he didn't succeed. But now I won't be able to find out anything. Oh, well. Can't be helped, I suppose. About my reward for the investigation. Yes, of course. Actually, I don't believe any reward was mentioned. On the other hand, you surveyed everything as I asked, and that deserves a brush or two. And they tried to murder me? Yes, of course. It's a sad world we live in. I'm sure you deserve a little extra coin for it. It's been a pleasure. Good. We probably could have solved go. that a bit better if we'd found out how to... I'm going to try and anger him. Hardly seems worth what I've been through. You're right. He's a little more to be going. <laughs> Get in. We'll fucking blagged into bits. Right, so we'll finish that. Oh, the door's broke. The door's now massively broke. So I wonder if we'd caught him. If we'd caught him. Or. Or managed to talk him down. It would have, like, helped anything. I doubt it. We we'll probably can. But I did pass the speech check, but he still tried to kill us. Ah well, never mind. Right, that's saved. We've done it. Give it a beast mode. Get a save on the go and we're ready for the next episode. Which is going to... Sasau to meet the mysterious knight. And hopefully that guy there won't be locked in his room anymore. He'll come out because he needs to meet me and Sasau as well. It's been a long ass episode this. Well worth it though. Loads of bandits slain. Just how I like it. <laughs>